Enabling Office 365 Services, Exam Ref 70 347. Objective 1.3 Setup Telemetry and Reporting. Office 365 Pro Plus and Office 2013 both support gathering of telemetry data about how office applications are being used in an environment. This objective deals with how you configure the collection of telemetry through group policy, how you configure a central repository for uh, telemetry issues, how you can view local telemetry data, and what steps you can take to deploy the telemetry agent to computers that have versions of Office that do not automatically include telemetry functionality. This objective covers the following topics. Enable telemetry through group policy, set up telemetry service, report user issues, and deploy the agent. Set up telemetry service. Office Telemetry is a compatibility moni monitoring framework. You can use it to ask to assess Office compatibility issues. Office uh, Telemetry provides similar functionality to the following Office 2010 compatibility tools. Uh, the Office Migration Planning Manager, the Office Code Compatibility Inspector, and the Office Environment Assessment Tool. Uh, Office Telemetry works with both Office 2013 and Office Pro Plus and is included with the applications. Some Office Telemetry features are available for earlier versions of Office if the Office Telemetry agent is installed on each computer running the previous versions of Office. Deploy Telemetry Dashboard the telemetry dashboard allows you to view information collected by the telemetry uh, processor, uh, which is a special server that you deploy on the network to collect telemetry information. The telemetry dashboard is installed automatically when you install the Office 365 Pro Plus, uh, Office uh, Professional Plus 2013, and Office Standard 2013. Uh, the telemetry dashboard is a specially configured Excel worksheet that connects to a database hosted on a supported SQL instance. Uh, you can start the telemetry dashboard in uh, several ways. Uh, for example, on computers running Windows 7, Windows Server 2008, or Windows Server 2008 R2, just click the telemetry dashboard for Office 2013 in the Office 2013 Tools folder under Microsoft Office 2013. On computers running Windows uh, 8 or Windows 8.1 or 10, the telemetry dashboard, um, uh, type telemetry dashboard on the start screen and uh, computer running um, Windows Server 2012 and uh, 2012 R2 and also uh, 2010 you can do that just basically search for um, the charm from the start menu and then type telemetry dashboard actually the you can just in 2010 just type in the uh, telemetry dashboard uh, note that the name telemetry dashboard for office uh, 2013 applies even when the installed product is office 365 pro plus you must have excel installed to open the telemetry dashboard uh, for office 2013. Uh, to use the telemetry dashboard for Office 2013, you need to configure a computer to function as the telemetry processor and a computer to house the SQL server database used by the telemetry dashboard. Now, um, this both of these uh, products or software can be installed in the same computer and um, you can use basically um, any version of SQL after SQL Server uh, 2005. Uh, and you could also of course use the, um, the, the Express Edition. Uh, the telemetry dashboard for Office 2013 basically contains a whole bunch of links from which you can download the SQL Server Express. 
Microsoft recommends that you host the telemetry process of RAW on a computer running uh, either any versions of Windows Server 2008 uh, after 2008. Of course, including the uh, most recent version of Office 20, uh, 2016. Before deploying the telemetry process, ensure that you have the following information. You need the name of the SQL Server instance in which the telemetry dashboard will be created or where the database is already present. Uh, you need permission to create and configure the databases on the SQL Server. Uh, there needs to be uh, needs to be a domain uh, account that has been assigned the system administrator role on the SQL Server instance. You need permission to create a shared folder or the UNC path of an existing folder. Uh, you need 11 gigabyte or more of free hard drive space on the computer that houses the telemetry processor role. Uh, and basically, to deploy the telemetry processor role. You open the telemetry dashboard for Office 2013 uh, spreadsheet and then click the gathering the started worksheet in the uh, workbook. So here is the uh, telemetry dashboard and basically these are the steps that you need uh, in order to, uh, to configure this. You need to set up the prerequisites and in step two you install the telemetry processor and in step three you deploy the telemetry agent if necessary, that means if you have all versions of Office. Um, in step four, you configure the um, uh, configure the telemetry agent, and then in step five, you connect to the database to view the uh, telemetry data. Under the install telemetry processor, uh, you click either the x86 or the x84 language, basically means either the 32 or the 64-bit version of, of, the, of the software. On the database settings, you specify a SQL server and a database to store the Office telemetry uh, dashboard data. Here you select a share folder. Uh, you basically specify the UNC path of an existing share folder to store the data. If the data is going to be stored on the same computer, then you could put a regular, uh, a regular path as shown on, on, this, uh, on this picture here. On the Office telemetry process settings, we should notice how uh, telemetry data needs to be shared and permission must be set to allow. So all of this permission sharing can be done automatically if you have not pre-configured that share folder. And, and basically in this Windows you just uh, click yes on the do you want uh, the folder to be configured now. Uh, the next step is to, or oh, uh, step five, uh, again in this case we're not working with the um, uh, telemetry agent because we have you know uh, new versions of Office. I mean Office 2013 and and, and above. Uh, so on a step five, you would connect uh, the database uh, to view telemetry data. Uh, notice how in this windows, well, no telemetry data. Uh, basically, nothing has uh, been uh, collected yet, and, and that's why. So when you open this for the first time, obviously it's going to be empty because no data has been configured. Uh, in other words, no configuration has been made to collect telemetry data yet. Enable telemetry through group policy. Before you can enable telemetry through group policy, you need to install the Office 2013 group policy administrative template. And uh, you can just search for that, go to that Microsoft website to download that. Uh, you'll need to download the file to a domain controller and then run it. Uh, if you are deploying to a Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller, ensure that you download the 64-bit uh, version of the administrative template. Uh, this is because Windows Server 2012 R2 is a 64-bit platform, and while the 32-bit version will likely uh, also run, uh, you should choose the architecture that matches the platform on which you will install the template. This is the uh, group policy management editor and the location where you would find uh, the, uh, the components that you need to enable or to configure in order for the telemetry data to be collected. Uh, turn on telemetry data collection. The turn on telemetry data collection policy must be enabled. Uh, 
uh, as you will see on the next slide, uh, for uh, telemetry data collection to be enabled. If this policy is not enabled, then office telemetry data collection will not occur. And here is that uh, picture where basically you just uh, uh, turn on telemetry data collection. Turn on data uploading for the telemetry agent. When you enable this policy, uh, um, shown in the next slide, office telemetry data is uploaded to a share folder specified in another policy. Uh, if you don't enable this folder, then Office Telemetry data is stored on the client and cannot be accessed at a central location through the telemetry dashboard. And here is the turn on uh, data uploading for Office Telemetry agent. I specify the UNC path to store Office Telemetry data. If you have configured telemetry data to be uploaded to a share folder using the turn on data uploading for the telemetry agent policy, you'll need to configure this policy and that will be shown in the next slide. So here is the uh, specified the UNC path uh, to store office telemetry data uh, property which is enabled and showing the, uh, the location of that folder. A specified custom tax for office telemetry data. The specified custom tax for office telemetry data allows you to apply tags to telemetry data forwarded to the shared folder used by the telemetry processor. And you can specify up to four separate tags as we will uh, see. Here is the uh, specified custom tax for office telemetry data uh, showing that uh, it is not configured yet and also the the options or the tag the four tags that you can uh, uh, enable also notice here that this feature is supported on you know 2003 and even Windows XP which are at this point very old operating system and very unlikely that you're gonna find uh, this uh, operating systems in production environment uh, although uh, there may be occasions in which you find them in, in, in some companies even though you know uh, these uh, products are not supported by Microsoft anymore turn on privacy settings in telemetry agent enabling this policy which is shown next uh, off, off, obfuscates the file name I mean it hides the file name the file path uh, title of office documents before telemetry data uploads into the share folder if this policy is not enabled, the file name, path, and title of the documents remain visible. <clears throat> and this could be a, a security issue if you don't do this, uh, <clears throat> because again, you, you don't want telemetry data to collect, you know, personal information about, you know, the the, uh, the, the title of the document, the location, you know, and, and that kind of stuff. And again, here is the enable, turn on privacy settings in Office Telemetry Agent. Uh, very, very likely that uh, uh, you will get one or two questions uh, related to uh, to this thing, since you know security is so uh, such a sensitive uh, issue uh, lately. Office applications to exclude from telemetry agent reporting. Uh, you can use the Office applications to. Um, uh, exclude from office telemetry agent reporting policy to exclude telemetry data from a specific application from being forwarded to the share folder used by the telemetry processor and again we'll uh, in the next slide you'll see how you can exclude those applications so on the office applications to exclude from office telemetry agent reporting we see that in this case we are excluding uh, publisher related solutions and Visio related solutions. Again, not many people use these applications, and uh, you know, it, it, there's no need to probably to collect data about this one, so you can exclude them. Uh, office solution to exclude from telemetry agent reporting. Uh, configuring the office solution to exclude from telemetry agent reporting policy allows you to stop telemetry data from the following office solution. We just talked about this, um, and um, uh, so uh, you know 
the following office solution card goes for being forwarded to the telemetry process. So like office document files, office template files, uh, com add-ins, application specific add-ins, and app for office. So you can exclude all uh, this type of information, or this type of uh, uh, applications and documents. Again, here we see more on the Office solution to exclude from Office telemetry agent uh, reporting, uh, how the Office templates are excluded and the uh, COM add-ins are also uh, excluded from being reported. Deploy the agent. Office telemetry works natively with Office 2013 and Office Pro Plus. This is because the Office telemetry agent is built into the Office 2013 and the Office 365 Pro Plus software. Office Telemetry will also work with newer versions of Office, including Office 2016. To use um, Office Telemetry with Office 2003, Office 2007, and Office uh, 2010, it is necessary to deploy special agent software. This agent will collect data about any installed Office add-ins as well as any documents that have been recently accessed. Um, the Office Telemetry agent for previous versions of Office collects inventory and usage data only. The Office Telemetry agent for previous versions of Office does not collect application event data. The uh, telemetry agent is supported on the following 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows. Uh, so basically it means uh, almost any versions of Windows, even Windows XP and, and Windows Server 2003, which again are very old operating systems that uh, are not supported anymore. Uh, while the telemetry agent is likely to be supported on Windows 10 and Windows Server uh, 2016 and as a matter of fact 2016 has already been uh, deployed so this uh, uh, been deployed it's on the market it is important to remember that the uh, separate telemetry agent software is only required if versions of office prior to office 2013 and office uh, pro plus are in use so while well, office 2010 and earlier can work on windows 10 and windows server 2013 uh, again, uh, it, it's going to be very unlikely that you have this, you know, like Windows 2010 and then you have Office uh, 2010, although again, it, it could happen. But uh, anyway, so you can get the MSI files that allow for the installation of the telemetry agent through the uh, deploy telemetry agent section of the getting it started worksheet uh, on the uh, telemetry dashboard. And here is the on the uh, getting uh, a static worksheet. You can basically install the uh, telemetry, uh, deploy the uh, telemetry agent. Again, this is only for uh, versions of Office. You know, um, I would say um, uh, before 2010, 2010 and, and before. And here you can download either the 32-bit uh, or the 60. A four bit of the telemetry agent uh, MSI file. Telemetry dashboard details. When connected to the telemetry uh, uh, database, the telemetry dashboard includes the following worksheet. You have the overview worksheet, and uh, this provides information about how documents and solutions are functioning in on uh, monitor computers. This worksheet provides a high level view of solution and document stability. Uh, the documents worksheet. Uh, this worksheet provides a list of documents collected by telemetry agent uh, scans and telemetry documents. This worksheet will provide you with information about the most frequently used uh, documents in your organization. Just keep in mind that it's the most recently used, not every document in the company. Uh, document details worksheet. It's uh, available uh, through the documents worksheet. Uh, and it allows you to see which users are accessing a document. The document issues worksheet available through the documents worksheet it uh, allows you to learn about unique events related to a specific document such as if the document was opened during an application crash. Uh, again a, a lot more information uh, there's the document sections worksheet which is available through the documents worksheet and uh, uh, shows section information during which uses occur, including data, username, computer name, and domain information. Then you have the solutions worksheet, 
which provides information about solutions collected by the telemetry log and the telemetry agent scans. Um, and solutions include COM add-ins, application-specific add-ins, and apps uh, for Office. You get uh, here also the uh, solution details worksheet, the solution issues worksheet, the solution sections worksheet, and the uh, telemetry processor worksheet. So here is the um, uh, telemetry uh, process dashboard. And again, notice the, uh, the different worksheets included over here. Uh, so here you have the overview, the document, the solutions, the telemetry processor, deployment, custom report. Uh, this is a very complex worksheet with a lot of information. Uh, even more, the uh, agents worksheet provides information about the users who have computers for uh, foreign data to their telemetry processor. Uh, the deployments worksheet provides information about the number of office clients deployed in the organization. And the uh, custom report worksheet creates relationships based on data in the uh, database in, in a pivot table. Configure telemetry agent through the registry. Uh, in some scenarios, you will want to enable the collection of telemetry data from computers that are not members of an Active Directory domain and hence are not subject to a group policy. In this scenario, you can create an import registry settings that will configure the telemetry agent. Uh, you can do this by using a text file with the uh, that reg extension and then importing it into the registry. Um, as the uh, example shown in this picture over here. Uh, report issue, uh, user issues. The Office Telemetry Log is a local log file that is automatically installed when you install Office 2013 or Office uh, 365 Pro Plus. Uh, the Office Telemetry Log tracks the solution types uh, uh, listed uh, in this table over here. Uh, so basically, uh, what you would do in uh, computer running, um, you know, later versions of Windows, you just basically search for the telemetry log for Office 2013, and uh, so that you can take a look at these logs. Uh, here we can um, see information about uh, the user um, don that funk. Um, there is, you know, plenty of information about the computer name and uh, uh, activities related to the use of Office with this user. Uh, so we can see in the system information the username, the full computer name, the system type, the uh, Windows edition, the time zone. I mean, there's a lot to learn uh, from the, this uh, user about the Office product. All right, objective summary. The telemetry dashboard is a specially configured Excel uh, workbook that connects to a SQL server database and displays telemetry information from Office uh, 2013 and Office uh, 365 Pro Plus. The telemetry processor is a computer that collects telemetry data and writes information to a SQL server database. Uh, telemetry collection settings are configured through group policy or by configuring the registry. Uh, Office 2013 and Office 365 Pro Plus have telemetry collection built into the applications. Uh, previous versions of Office required the deployment of a telemetry collection agent and a local version of the telemetry log can be accessed to help in the diagnosis of problems related to Office. Objective review. You want to determine on which computers uh, and to which users issues with documents occurred. Which worksheet in the telemetry dashboard should you consult to determine this information? And the answer is the document sections worksheet. You want to determine which users are using a specific COM add-in. Which worksheet in the telemetry dashboard would you uh, would allow you to determine this information? And the answer is the solution details worksheet. You want to determine which users are accessing a specific document. 
which uh, which work uh, worksheet in the telemetry dashboard would you use to determine this information and the answer is the document details worksheet and finally you want to determine when problems with a specific com add-in occurred the computer the problem occurred on as well as who was using the computer at the time which of the following worksheets in the telemetry dashboard would you use to determine this information and the answer is the solution sections worksheet